Good morning, everyone. On this Thursday in the 26th week in Ordinary Time, it is also a memorial for St. Jerome, who was very, very important in the life of the church and translating the Bible into the Vulgate. He also spent the latter parts of his years in the Holy Land, uh, learning Hebrew and uh, doing a number of commentaries on it. And he is noted for saying, ignorance of scripture is ignorance of Christ. And it kind of ties in today's reading, which is found in the book of Nehemiah, chapter 8, verses 1 through 4a, 5 through 6, and 7b through 12. The whole people gathered as one in the open space before the water gate, and they called upon Ezra the scribe to bring forth the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord prescribed for Israel. On the first day of the seventh month, therefore, Ezra the priest brought the law before the assembly, which consisted of men, women, and those children old enough to understand. Standing at one end of the open space that was before the water gate, he read out of the book from the daybreak until midday. In the presence of the men, the women, and those children old enough to understand. And all the people listened attentively to the book of the law. Ezra the scribe stood on a wooden platform that had been made for the occasion. He opened the scroll so that all the people might see it, for he was standing higher up than any of the people. And as he opened it up, all the people rose. Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God, and all the people, their hands raised high, answered, Amen, Amen. Then they bowed down and prostrated themselves before the Lord, their faces to the ground. As the people remained in their places, Ezra read plainly from the book of the law of God, interpreting it so that all could understand what was read. Then Nehemiah, that is, his excellency, and Ezra, the priest scribe, and the Levites who were instructing the people, said to all the people, Today is holy to the Lord your God. Do not be sad and do not weep. For all the people were weeping as they heard the words of the law. He said further, Go, eat rich foods and drink sweet drinks and allot portions to those who have nothing prepared. For today is holy to our Lord. Do not be sad in this day, for rejoicing in the Lord must be your strength. And the Levites quieted all the people, saying, Hush, for today is holy. You must not be saddened. Then all the people went to eat and drink, to distribute portions, and to celebrate with great joy. For they understood the words that had been expounded to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What a powerful expression of the power of the word of God. Uh, amazing the length of time that the word of God was being expounded to the folks, but not just simply expounded, but also explained. It says uh, that Ezra had also the Levites helping, assisting him, who were instructing the people uh, and so that all could understand what was being read. So it's one thing to hear the word of God, but it's a wonderful thing to have it explained, expounded, to kind of break open, as it were, the word of God. Now, there was a result from this. There was deep sorrow. Now, why would that be? Well, I think it had to do with as they heard the word of God, as it was being explained to them, they realized how far short they fell before what God's intentions were for them. They saw their sin. It's a powerful move of God to do that. But God's intention was not for them to wallow in the sin, but rather to rejoice. They celebrated. Why did they celebrate? For they understood the words that had been expounded to them. It's an amazing thing, the power of the word of God, once it's understood, 
It's a powerful expression within our lives. Like I mentioned before, today is uh, St. Jerome's Day, and in here, there's this little caveat that's in the Magnificat about what St. Jerome said to one of his fellow brothers. I beg of you, dear brother, he wrote to a friend, to live among these books, meaning the word of God, to meditate upon them, to know nothing else, to seek nothing else. Does not such a life seem to you a foretaste of heaven here on earth? Stay safe, folks. Let's see each other soon. Bye for now.